rescue a snake from an old well. Should be interesting. Pretty right. I don't want to get bitten down there. <laughs> Copperhead, was it? It was a copperhead. Alright. Oh, That's an eastern barred bandicoot over there. And you've got yeah. two blue tongues here. Oh, what a catch. Mm -hmm. Trying not to get bitten by a bandicoot. I'm bored, do I? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you stay there. Not being put next to the snake, I don't think. That's one blue tongue. Oh, yeah. And there's the other. Wonder how long they've been in there for? Don't know. Alright. Oh, don't try and bite me. You pass it up to me, I'll leave my I'll pass the blue tongues up to you. Yep. Yeah. It's got a fairly wide head. So it's got a slightly longer body and more narrow head. So it's got feminine features. Yeah. So, yeah, it's a bit clogged up. It should be right. I'll let this one go. At least the bad bandicoot. Interesting rescue. Down that hole, that old abandoned well, well, there was, uh, there was a bandicoot, which is uh, a marsupial. Uh, this one was a male, which I basically let go just a, you know, a little way away from the well. Hopefully, he doesn't get back down there again. There's also two blue tongue lizards, which I've got here, and they're covered in mud. It's just sort of clay mud. So I'm going to get them up and drive them now to get to the forest to let them go in a nice place where it's a reserve where people aren't allowed to hurt them. Or at least that's what the signs say. And also be letting the copperhead go in the same area. Now the copperhead could eat those guys but it's unlikely because they were a little bit too big for them. Obviously the copperhead wasn't eating them. But the copperhead was probably living on other small lizards that were falling down into that uh, that pit. So, you yeah, know, it was a real animal trap. Hopefully, uh, the guy's going to do something about that. So, not too many other, not too much other precious wildlife is going to be caught down that pit. But anyway, off to the forest, find a nice place, and release these guys. This is looking more like it. Gotta find a nice space around here somewhere. Things are a bit squishy for these little blue tongues here, so I'm gonna get them out first and give them a bit of a wash because they are covered in clay. As for you, little fella, there's nothing wrong with you. Yeah, you can go back in the wild. You wanna have a bite? Huh? You wanna 
You want to have a bite? You have a bite then, look at that, hey? Okay, you're going to let go. Doesn't want to let go. Cheeky little guy. The trick is not to rip your finger out, otherwise those teeth will catch you. Ah, it hurts a bit, you got to wait for him to let go. Hey? And if I let him go, he might let me go. Here you go. No, you still want to hold on. Ow. Alright, hey, come on. Alright, oh, Maestro, open your mouth a bit. Ah! There we go. Little red indentation. Nothing more than that. Hey? You think you're tough, but you're not as tough as the devil. There you go. Letting him hide in this natural vegetation. That should be safe enough for him. There's natural food around for him. There's water here. He's a copperhead snake, but uh, he's too big for the copperhead to eat. Uh, he should do fine. But this girl, I have to take her home somewhere and try and. Oh, one eye is opening up. Yes, one eye is opening up. Yeah, she's got one eye open. I'm going to let her go too, hey? This one will open up. There we go. Do that clay out of the eye. Yeah. I'm going to let her go too. And they can be friends. And uh, maybe next year, next breeding season, they might meet each other. Bye bye. There we go. If you go, you guys hide so nothing eats you. Bye bye, guys.